Okay, welcome to day 22 and verse 22 of chapter 1, Perak Rishon, Pasuk Kaf Bet. Let's read the Hebrew. Vayiverech otam Elohim le'emor, pru revu, umilu et hamayim bayamim, v'ha'of yirev ba'aretz. Let's just read the English. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let fowl multiply in the earth. Let's go over the Hebrew a bit slower, and then afterwards we'll take out one particular word and read that in Hebrew, and uh, just to help you, you know, with the Hebrew reading. I have to admit, this verse, I took longer looking at this verse than any other verse I have so far yet in the series. I, I was I was so confused by it and uh, I looked at all the commentaries to try and understand and then it becomes very very obvious but let's go through it and see if uh, you have the same problem as I did. Vayevarech otam Elohim. Vayevarech otam Elohim. Vayevarech is like bracha, a blessing. Otam is them, Elohim is God, and so God blessed them, Le'emor, saying. And uh, if you if you remember, we've just uh, created uh, sea creatures and fish and uh, chickens and birds and this kind of thing. So this is what we're talking about here. Peru Uruvu. Peru Uruvu, you may have heard of before, it means be fruitful and multiply. And uh, it's very famous words uh, for obvious reasons, and we will see it uh, used a few times in the whole Torah. Um, once is as a commandment that we, in fact, should be fruitful and multiply, uh, Peru Uruvu, and it's actually a mitzvah that we should be fruitful and multiply, and therefore have children. Umilu et hamayim bayamim. Let's just go back to Peru. Peri is a fruit so Peru be fruitful a review Rov can be uh, like uh, majority as well in uh, modern Hebrew and uh, also uh, multiply <laughs> now this I I had such problems with and it seems so clear to me now so please someone tell me that uh, you didn't really understand what this means let me read the English and fill the waters in the seas. Now I couldn't really understand how this was translated so let's just uh, go over the words and we're in umilu'u so that means um, and fill et hamayim the water buyamim and this is what confused me this word because yom also means day and yamim can also mean days and I couldn't understand why it was saying waters in the seas. And uh, I, I really couldn't understand it until I realized <laughs> that what actually was going on here is yum is seas. Or it can be more waters as well. But I didn't really understand what it was trying to say. And uh, what it's trying to say here is to fill all of the water in the sea with with fish and sea creatures and and that kind of thing um and it said that uh, once the seas were filled then the rivers and you know all the other bodies of water the lakes and other bodies of water would be filled as well Vaha'of, we've come across this word it means chicken in uh, modern hebrew and here it means fowl um so birds white birds yirev Ba'aretz. Yirev, we've had Rov, Pururavu, Yirev will multiply, Ba'aretz, we've had this as well, on the land. So the chicken, or chickens, Yirev Ba'aretz, will multiply on the earth. So fish and sea creatures, they'll multiply in the water, in the seas as well, and flying creatures, they'll multiply on the earth and not in the seas. Okay, I hope you found that 
useful. Um, we're going to go through one Hebrew word at the moment. If uh, you're already at the stage where you know how to read Hebrew, please go to hebrewbibleverseday.com and sign up there. Otherwise, let's just continue. The word I chose, surprisingly enough, is bayamim, okay, which means seas. So we've got the bet with a dot in the middle. If it didn't have a dot, it'll be a vet, but uh, that's kind of a soft bet. But because it has the dot, it's a ba. So ba, but it's got an a, a line, a cav underneath. So it's ba. We've got a yud, which you've seen before. In modern Hebrew, the dot here doesn't really change the pronunciation. So just leave that for the moment. But the line underneath, just like we had ba, it's ya. This is a mem. You can ignore the dot in the middle here as well. But it's, it's got one dot underneath, which is an i. So ba, ya, me. And then we've got the yud, which is kind of a silent yud. And then this is also a mem like here. It's called a final mem. And there's nothing very complicated, actually. They're pretty much the same letter, but you have a final mem, or it's called in Hebrew a mem sofit, at the end of a word. So if you have certain letters at the end of the words, then they're just written slightly differently, which it is here. So this is a mem and this is a mem. So we've got ba, ya, and then these three letters are actually together, mim. So it's ba, ya, mim, the C's. Hope this was useful for you. Uh, please make sure you leave me a comment um, to let me know. Please, you're as confused as I was, or hopefully not now I've explained it. And uh, also, if you could like that, this video, that would be very, very helpful for me, uh, both in terms of YouTube and uh, Facebook, and also just knowing that people are out there watching the, these videos and enjoying them as well. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, Shalom, Lehitra'ot from Yerushalayim. Goodbye.